Welcome to the Angle Estimation Game. This is a class game for up to four teams. The teams can choose a name, for example, Sharks. I'll stop the recording and choose a name for the other three teams. Okay, the goal of the students will be to try to hit the center of the target. To do this, they have to estimate both an angle and the distance. For example, we can place the target here. This arrow has to make a 90-degree angle to point at the target and so as to the distance between the starting point and the center of the target, we see this distance is less than this distance from here to here, which is set at 60. Of course, it's also more than, let's say, 10. You can also use this example in class as an introduction to the game. So let's set the angle to 90. If a student says the angle is a little less than 90, you can also write 89 or whatever the students suggest. As for the distance, the students can give different estimations. Let's say they decide to check 38. We click outside, and now we click shoot. This estimation did not hit the exact center of the target, but it's in the red area, so this hit is worth 100. Hitting the orange area will give 50 points, and hitting the yellow area gives 20 points. Now, this was just the introduction, so no team actually got this score. We can just throw it out the screen. Now, in the beginning, students may make large mistakes. For example, giving an estimation of 70 for the angle here and 50 for the distance. Well, let's shoot. And this is off target and no points are given. But as the students practice, they will gain experience and grasp conceptual tools that will improve their estimations. For example, making a comparison to the 90-degree angle. In this game, you can move the target to a certain point, and now each of the teams deliberate amongst themselves to decide on an estimation for an angle and distance. Each team writes their estimation on a piece of paper and hands it to the teacher. After all the teams have handed in their estimation, you, the teacher, type in the estimations in front of the whole class, and we will see how many new points each team will get. Well, let's say the Sharks chose the angle of 45. You can ask a member of the team why he or she chose that angle. And the students might relate the estimation to the 90-degree angle. The angle seems like half of 90 degrees. Okay, well, let's say the estimation for the distance they choose is 55. We'll go ahead and click Shoot. And this is a very good estimation. The score is 100. So we drag the score to the sharks and let go. So now they have 100 points. Let's say the on-target team chooses a distance of 65. And we can shoot. Oh, and they barely still hit the orange area, so they got 50 points. You can move the target over here, for example. This game can also be used in conjunction with another app named Protractor. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. This rich app, of course, has its own tutorial. We'll now just demonstrate just a bit of its functionality. As you see, we can create an angle and it can be changed easily. We can also show a protractor. Clicking the angle will bring the protractor to its place, and we can do the measurement like this. In the process of the measurement, we can emphasize the 90-degree angle, a main angle that is used in the game to make estimations. Now, if this 90-degree angle is taken as given, What's left to do is to try to add an estimation of this extra angle here. It's about another 30 degrees. In this app, we can measure this more exactly. 
and the extra angle turned out to be 31 degrees. So the main idea of the estimation game is not the exactness of the estimation, but the methods on which it is based. A method such as comparing to the 90-degree angle. Okay, let's hide the protractor. In the case of this angle, the estimation should be based on the 180-degree angle. Estimating this angle and subtracting it from 180. If this angle, for example, is estimated at 20, it will be 180 minus 20, which is 160. And we can check. Show protractor. Click the angle, and we can do the measurement, which is 164. So the element of estimation adds a level of randomness, which is actually an advantage in class. It means that the student who is most proficient in mathematical thinking will not always win. And another student who is just more lucky or just maybe better at visual estimations can reach a better result. You can use this protractor app before the game, or you can open it in another window and simply move back and forth during the game. Okay, let's go back to the angle estimation game. Here we jumped into another mode of playing, up to 360 degrees. Before, we were in the mode of up to 180. In this mode, the students have to understand the 180 degrees, and in this case, add another 45 degrees or so. Let's make this estimation. The angle, 180, plus 45, is 225. The distance can be estimated at, say, 30. The hope is that the internal discussions in the groups, where all members of the team have the common goal of reaching the best estimation, will provide an effective and memorable learning experience. Let's click Shoot. And the estimation is good. We give this score to the Eagle team, and that's it. We hope you and your students will enjoy this game in class. Thanks for watching.